All right, game number one of the grand finals. Oh, book a free ticket into the Masters finals in three, two, one. Tetris. Ignore my slightly out of sync uh, countdown right there. We're here in the finals. Uh, we've got Aaron on commentary. He uh, has had enough. He uh, just tapped, got his PB, and it was still not enough to beat these hyper quick tappers. So he has resorted to a life of uh, Tetris commentary, and he has joined me here. Um, Aaron, how are you today? Uh, you know... Very cool. All right, so Moya at 45,000, <laughs> Gerald at 45,000. Uh, yeah, both going perfect through eight lines. So, well, for both of them, this is like 2.0 pace, not even 1.5. Uh, because you, you assume 500k post, post on top of perfect post play. <laughs> of course. Uh, all right. So for everybody who's just joining us right here, we have seen an insanity of a top four broadcast so far. Although I will hold that thought as Gerald currently in a little bit of danger. Oh, wait. And uh, would love to get a pair of long bars. He's going to get a long bar right there. Now just needs a JP. So Gerald's going to be okay. fine. Gets a tetris right there. 104 for Gerald. Uh, 82,000 for Moya. So as I was continuing, uh, Gerald put up... Uh, just, I have no words for what that performance was against Raw Nations. Um, just pure insanity. Raw Nations, he was playing out of his mind as well. Uh, able to defeat him. And uh, has been waiting in the finals for quite a bit. Because the second match, and uh, maybe you can tell us about, a little bit about this, Aaron. Uh, took quite a while, didn't it? It was uh, <laughs> quite a classic in its own right. Yeah, so Moya's pretty good. Uh, and I think he's gotten more consistent over time, which I've se definitely seen today. And he decided that, so the first game, I thought, okay, if I just get like consistent 900k, maybe low max outs, I can pretty easily win, you know? Uh, well, that was not easily win, but like win. And then he gets a B80 first game, and I think, hmm, maybe it's time to go a little more aggressive. <laughs> and thus, I topped out early twice, but I also got 1.2. So, moral of the story is... Uh, Moya is a very threatening presence, and I think it's kind of making Gerald also play very aggressive because he knows that Moya can definitely go all out, both in kill screen and before that. What do you think, Doogie? As a, as a commentary, as you watched? Uh, uh, I, I'm just confused by people saying that it says semifinals. It, sa it literally says finals, so I believe people are having a pandemic of uh, being blind. And it's uh, ravaging our nation currently. Um, Moya currently very high up. Sorry for ignoring your question, but uh, 234 for Moya and uh, 273 for Gerald. And nearly. Good thing he got that bar there because if he got like hard droughted, it would have been very tough. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, We're... I am. Uh, last two matches have been quite insane. And I know I've said that about 25 times, and I know I'm talking very high right now, but it was pretty insane, and my voice is gone. So, I mean, it's... to you, you have a lovely voice. Thank you. Know. you. I, I appreciate that. It doesn't. It doesn't even sound Austrian, which is a compliment. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald with the Tetris, and it's going to show on the J dependency. 346 for Gerald, 277 for Moya, who is building on row two, but is going to. Uncover that hole perfectly and is back down to the bottom. 302 for Moya, 370 for Gerald. And these are both pretty good 18 games, 550k ish transition. And um, with the way they're playing post, you know, this you can maybe expect a max out at this point already uh, if they're not being flustered. Also, um, you, <laughs> what's, what's a Ren's heart? Do you know what that is, Doogie? I, I, I am not aware, unfortunately. But shout out to Renz. Yeah, uh, Renz is cool. Yeah, Renz is cool. <laughs> 370 for Moya. Uh, Gerald currently at 439. Now we've got predictions in the chat. Will this be a double max game? Uh, please uh, use your channel points, and this will not be an illicit match fixing scandal where, where we steal all of, all of your channel points. I guarantee that. 463 for Gerald. 
373,000 from Moya. Fills in a Lombard dependency, but still in a little bit of danger. But it's going to get the Lombard right there and a perfect double with that LP. It's Moya at 378. Gerald at 488. Yeah, very, very... It, it's pretty close, even though um, it's, what, two and a half Tetrises, roughly, but this is basically uh, it's a very surmountable lead, especially in post-transition, which these players are getting very close to. This is exciting. And Gerald transitions with 521. Moya still has the opportunity for two more Tetrises before transition. Yeah, right now Gerald having a clean board on level 19. Still waiting for the slum bar. There's the Tetris 4. Gerald into level 20 at 551. Moya gonna take the double into level 19 at 475. Moya doing a slight bit of burning. But is Tetris ready once again? And it touches for Moya, 503 into level 24. Moya touches for Gerald, 604 into level 21. Wow. Nice adjustment there for Gerald, although I believe that was a misdrop. Yeah, that's definitely double rotation. Oh, but the tuck. Does he get the J? Uh, too late for the uh, the cool. Oh, but he's still got the Eastman. You know, actually, we've been talking a lot about these players' speeds, but, you know, we kind of underestimate their stacking ability in the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these two are also stellar stackers, so, you know. It's uh, definitely a very fun combination to play against, as uh, Aaron just experienced. Yeah. Don't, don't you love it when the person's faster than you and better than you? Like, it's just a great combination. <laughs> yeah, it's just a great combination. Uh, 637 for Moya. 667 for Gerald. Right now, Moya running into some issues. Gonna end up with a uh, hole on his board. But after I, these two singles, cool. is uh, gonna be clean. 641 for Moya. Gerald getting some Tetrises here on level 23 at 725. Moya at 6.43, seven lines behind. Yeah, now Gerald's getting a bit of a lead now. Maybe two Tetrises ahead. And Moya, but Moya is Tetris ready, waiting for the long bar, if he'll ever arrive. Wait, where is this long bar? Oh god, he's getting a pie. Yeah, Moya's getting a pie, but <laughs> gets the long bar over without an issue. That's the hyper quick taps right there for you. And it's gonna get another Tetris into level 24 at 7.33, Gerald at 7.88. Gerald in some trouble now, but taking a nice series of burns okay. and it's going to reopen as well right there. 794 for Gerald into level 25. Moya into level 25 at 795. It is neck and neck here. Oh, man, it's very close. Oh. And, Gerald, Gerald and Gerald just playing on row 35. Both of these god. players' height is just insane right now. How but Moya, oh my like god, that dying. Espen. Oh my god, that Espen. Does he get the bar? Okay, he takes the triple. Moya is still waiting for the slum bar. He certainly deserves it. There it is. 835 oh and another Tetris. 867 for Moya at 206 lines. Gerald already at 211 lines at 926. Tetris for Gerald oh, at 960. Moya missed drops. This might be. This is a, probably a long dig if he doesn't get good pieces. But, oh, okay. I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's just going to clear it out there with a pair of singles. 904 for Moya. Currently uh, at oh, 214 wow. lines. Gerald. Has three more touches available currently at 995. We are on course for what could be an epic 29 battle. Okay, Gerald maxes out. A33 at 227. He has one touches left. Uh, Moya 976 at 224. He has two more available. Oh, but Gerald's board is deteriorating. Can he get out of this? Yeah, Gerald's board. I don't think so. Unfortunately, okay. not in any state to go into 29. He's going to top it at A69, so Moya can get one more Tetris here, but will He's gonna need, need something kill on kill screen, but it's oh, just going to transition at A16. Oh, wow. Needs to get oh, to wow. A70. Does he, does he get... Oh my god. Yeah, a few okay, Tetrises triple. would do it, or quite a bit of lining out. It's really one Tetris now and a bit of lining out. Yep. Uh, oh, he's going for... And yes, it! Moya. Oh my god, Moya! What the... Barely breaks a sweat there, getting a Tetris on level 30 and is going to benefit from Gerald Freeman's uh, unfortunate transition Why? to 29 and keeps Why going. Why is this Challengers? <laughs> Why is this Challengers? Welcome to 2020. Yeah, he's just... Uh, oh my god. Oh, okay, can he... Oh, gets the tap casual 3 left, okay. And another. 
Still going. Level 33. 1.139. Going for the kill. What does he do? <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Does he get it? Oh no. Okay. Well. The insanity ends somewhere, finally. <laughs> Moya gonna be done at B30. B43. With a casual level 33. You know, I remember when it was a big deal when people would max out in Challenger Circuit. And now it's just yeah, a requirement to uh, just be consistent level 33 to uh, to win CC. <laughs> just. Yeah, I feel like. I think the majority of games in these semis have been won with 1.1s. So. That means that to win, you're expected to get a 1.1 basically every game. <laughs> uh, welcome to reality. Yeah. Uh, I remember, um, I know this is a long time ago, in a scout interview, I think after the June 2020 Masters event, Joseph was saying he likes to qualify with a 1.1. <laughs> and that was for Masters. And now every single game is a 1.1 in challenge. It's, it's mad. All right, we've got two readies here from the players. Game number two and three, two, one. Tetris, the game down to the wire there as we had neck and neck scores at the end of the post transition but the difference came as gerald had a few crucial misdrops at the end of 28 which rendered his board uh useless uh, on 29 and moya had a clean board and uh he leave moya an opportunity for a chase down post 29 well more often than not he tends to get it what i find like doubly impressive for both of these players is you know let's say you're in a good game you have a good pace you're, you're pretty late in the game, level, let's say, 26 plus, and they just don't choke somehow. Uh, I know for me, maybe not today, but as, very often I'll get like a good game and I think, oh, I can do this, and then suddenly I get misdrops, or I just, my hands get sweaty or something like that. And I find it incredibly impressive that in a competitive environment where you're getting like high 1.1s, they just don't screw up. Like sometimes I forget that they're going to eventually top out because they just play so fluently. Uh, well, I mean, that's what happens when you play against people who are not human, because <laughs> a human cannot I mean, do these things. I refuse to believe this. I, I refuse to believe that people of the same species as me, uh, although I don't know if anybody's the same species as me, um, can do these things. You, you shouldn't call Germans not human, Tugi. <laughs> I thought we got past that. <laughs> Okay, uh, back to the match. Uh, Moya, 161 at 30 lines. Gerald Freeman, 127 at 32 lines. Uh, so pretty close, somewhat uneventful. Uh, to get any comments. Yeah, I mean, this is level 18. So like, yeah. this is like DAS players playing level nine, apparently. <laughs> On PAL. <laughs> On PAL. <laughs> Even though level nine's faster on pal. Oh, Gerald Freeman with a oh. awful misdrop oh, that's there. Really, that's actually really tough. He needs. Oh, this is. Oh God, does he get over? Yeah, oh, he gets a lumber <laughs> over. Yep. This is just. This is the new reality. Gerald, no problem. Barely breaks a sweat. Oh. Although, misflip there okay. with the L piece has a lumber dependency over to the left side. Now is going to be able to fill it in. Oh, yeah, okay. All of this is going to result in quite a bit of burning. And Moya's already taken the advantage. 257 yeah. for Moya, 166 for Gerald. Yeah, nearly 100, 100,000 point lead for Moya right now. Oh, what is. He got, Moya got four S's in a row. What? Oh, Gerald. Gerald oh. in huge trouble, but oh. just gets a lumber over. We, it's beyond the point of being surprised at this point from Gerald, although he is in uh, quite a bit of a dig currently. 215,000 for Gerald. 312,000 for Moya. So Moya... That reminds me of my game against Moya, except he got the second bar. I'm not salty. Uh, this is why we yes. need same pieces. <laughs> <laughs> How is it fair if people don't get the same pieces? RNG is such a big deal in this game. Uh, you have an excellent impersonation. <laughs> yeah, that is every what, YouTube... What did you learn it from? That experience? Is... Uh, it's just like what I imagine a midwit who uh, comments on YouTube videos about Tetris sounds like. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just my mean... imagination. Uh, Gerald currently at 269,000. Moya keeping this 100k lead roundabout at 367,000. Both players are clean at the moment. 
Gerald has AJ dependency and uh, would like to get either the Lombard for a Tetris or film the J dependency, but it's gonna get the Lombard first for a Tetris. 314 for Gerald, 389 for Moya. You know, I agree completely with Pumpy right now in the chat, saying crazy DAS control from Gerald. It's really impressive, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, Tsugi, you should start playing like this. You're a DAS player, right? <laughs> you have a higher PB than Gerald. Why can't you do that? Uh. How does any DAS player have a higher BB than this guy? Honestly, it's just it's just insane. I mean, that will that'll that'll change within like two days probably. Gerald yeah. at three hundred and forty-two thousand uh, set up for a T spent oh double. He gets there. Oh, but this is very tough. Okay, but it's taking quite a few burns now, so should be able to get the lumber oh. over without a problem. But this is too I high, surely now. Possible. I don't think this I is think possible. Gerald is going to top uh, out at three forty-six. Okay. And Moya at 504 yeah. is gonna take game number two. And all of a sudden is uh one game away from taking the challenger's title. Miles, the uh, in-house rolling expert, says it was possible but frame perfect. I think honestly, in that situation, maybe the only thing you can do is uh, maybe burn with an L flat and try to get one line lower but yeah maybe still, i don't know i mean if he would have gotten the lumber over there then i don't know like vienna wouldn't exist anymore the roof would just be blown off i don't know mad Your all right would explode and destroy the city <laughs> my, my brain would just explode uh both players are ready game number three and three two one tetris Yeah, this is actually interesting. Uh, that game now two to zero for Jill, uh, for Moya. Oh, what? There we go. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Yeah. So Moya has a pretty substantial game lead. Really? Um, yeah, I know. You couldn't <laughs> do the math yourself. And for more, um, for for uh, for more excellent analysis of Tetris, definitely follow Cool Ice Age on Twitch. He also runs a YouTube channel and a series, Cool Games with Cool Ice Age. I, I like everything you said there was false. Okay, everything you said there was technically true, but not right morally. <laughs> Who cares about morals when you can be logical? Uh, so, <laughs> Gerald, facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, not to get political. Of course. But, but maybe we should get a line cap. No. Uh, 91,000 for Moya. Uh, 34,000 for Gerald. Gerald having uh, just got his first Tetris. is going to get his second Tetris there. Had a bit of a suffer start, but now is uh, cleanly getting these Tetrises. Moya having a decent start here into game three once again. 95,000 for Moya, gets a touch, goes up to 118, Gerald at 82,000. Yeah, Moya established... Moya's had a lot of really good, consistent 18 play in his matches, uh, which is very impressive. Uh, you would expect occasionally, oh, you screw up, but I think... Has, his, has he had a transition lower than 500,000? I don't know. <laughs> uh... If My brain's kind of been point. fried in all the insanity, unfortunately. Well, I mean, it happens to the best of us and the worst of us. Yeah, clearly the worst of us. Uh, oh. Gerald gonna miss an Espen, unfortunately. It's gonna result in more burning. Moya uh, enjoying this lead, getting a Tetris goes up to 210,000. Gerald getting a dirty oh, Tetris. Very nicely yeah. done. Gonna uncover that hole of 157 for Gerald. This is this is pretty exciting, honestly. A um, hundred k lead nearly from Moya, same line count. But still, it in a way I feel like it's always neck and neck, just because of the kill screen factor of both of these people. Yeah, absolutely. You can be ahead a hundred fifty thousand points and still lose. Uh, like I think I mean, you commented DMJ versus Moya, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, that was a. Uh... Yeah, that was a brain fryer in itself. Uh, pretty insane match. Um, 249 for Gerald. 
as the Lombard Dependency is going to elect to fill in that Lombard Dependency before getting the Tetris 239 for Gerald. 304 for Moya. Halfway point here for both players. Crucial game number three here as uh, Gerald needs us to stay alive in the set. Getting another Tetris right there. 301 for Gerald. Uh, now even in score with Moya. Moya missing the tuck. Uh, but I was going to say Moya slightly behind in lines, but we'll be burning now, so... Yeah, this might even things up, especially... I mean, they're nearly neck and neck in score already, but this this is a tough burn. Even with good pieces and good placements, I don't think you can get out of this incredibly efficiently. Moya's going to prove me wrong again. Like... Moya's existence is fuel <laughs> solely driven... By, uh, by your doubt, Aaron. It seems like. <laughs> he's, just, he's just working on spite. <laughs> <laughs> you, you became the serial guy, and then Moya just came out of nowhere. And then, yeah. Moya I will mean... never cure cancer. You could say that, Aaron. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, just a spite. <laughs> <laughs> could say uh... comes alive. Uh, Gerald in huge trouble right now. Uh, taking a nice Ooh. flat burn there with that Lombar, but now Getting needs another Lombar. Takes a triple. And uh, Gerald at 381, but slowly burning this down. It's uh, gotten a lot closer in score, but Moya now with the advantage to rebuild this lead. As he's currently at 437, Gerald at 387. Oh, I think Gerald... I don't know if that was a miss, like a... No, miss flipper, but he could have gotten out, but he didn't. Still waiting for that bar. 392. And Dirty Tetris. So he's mostly out, but Moya is it's pretty substantially ahead. Yeah, Moya currently at 485. Gerald running into some issues here as he's nearing the post transition. Any dig is not going to be oh, bottlenecked by Gerald's speed, but still not a pushover this Where stake right the now. Man, you know I hate that. Uh, Gerald just had a moment. I mean, he got out of it because he got the bar. But when you get an L J dependency and you don't get an L J or I, it's it's just very frustrating sometimes. <laughs> oh God, wait, what is? Oh, oh my, my God, God. Gerald is set up for an incredibly dirty risky. Tetris. Oh my God, covers up the well, gets a lumber over, set up for this Tetris, <laughs> gets it. Four seventy two for Gerald now on level nineteen, but Moya well ahead. Still on level 18 is going to transition at 5:59 with oh a clean board. Gerald's on out of this. Yeah, Gerald still in huge trouble here. Oh my god, gets the lumber gets over. over. He, he needs he needs some incredible skill, which I mean we've seen so far. Right? Yeah, he certainly has it, and he's slowly burning out of this. And uh, Moya though has established quite a lead right now. 6:36 yeah. for Moya on level and, 20. And Gerald's and another dig. Oh god, he's he's waiting really long for this bar. But he can't sit for dirty touch. <laughs> Apparently Gerald doesn't care about winning challenges. He just wants to make an expo of uh, how dirty touches can go. And uh, he the just wants is... as many TikTok clips as he can get. <laughs> Apparently so. Uh, Gerald still trying to dig out of this. Currently at oh, five hundred and twenty-seven thousand. Is... Moya just running away with this game right now. Six. 97 for Moya and Gerald with a misdrop can definitely still survive this, but it's just getting more complicated oh as each misdrop continues oh, here to add to his misery. And Gerald Z is bad. in huge danger here, gets the Lombar. Is he? He can still survive this. J? Oh my god. god. Oh what? my god. This, this is not acceptable. This is not this okay. This is not acceptable. Gerald, but still no, now still in danger. If he gets this bar. Oh my god. Oh no, no. misses the Lombar over. And it's going to top out at 543. Oh. And Gerald's going to be done. And Moya, the hyper quick tapping sensation from Germany, is going to take home the challenger's title for February 2022. It's been quite a show here in the top four broadcast. I want to thank all the four players for providing this amazing entertainment. And in the end, Moya having quite a game right now is our challenger's winner. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're welcome to This <laughs> is Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> yes, shout out to Aaron, who also got his first 1.2 million. I mean, also, oh, your raw nations, do not forget him. Oh yeah, raw nations also just playing out of his mind. <laughs>
absolute insanity. Okay, let's see. Wait, let's see if Moyang gets the highest score of the day. Yeah, he's gonna beat he, my one point two. He certainly could do. It's just been your insanity, Gerald. Unfortunately, it's gonna be denied of a stream debut, winning his first tournament with his first competitive experience. But what a debut it has been for Gerald. He has never played a competitive match before this challenger circuit began. So watch out for this man right here. Watch out yeah. for both of these. Moya, just as Moya's we're raving on about Gerald, just quietly taking oh, home no. the title. And is also just keeping going here with this amazing game. Uh, it's exciting, really. It um, one lucky thing for Gerald is he's already qualified for the Masters event, most likely. Uh, so Most you'll get to see him next month in Masters. And with Moya also qualifying, both of these players will get to play. Which is exciting. Yes, we are on course for both of these players to be in the Masters event next month. Oh God. So does he it... get this tap? Oh my god, of course he does. Okay, let's see. Can he beat me? Yeah, it's, it's, it, it does, the, the title doesn't count unless you beat Aaron's score here, Moya, so come on. Yeah. Get, get a move on. Oh my god, of course he gets like five left casually. <laughs> Is he gonna Tetris his way? Okay. And... That does it. God damn it. I can't even get one accomplishment against this guy. <laughs> He's just... He is... He, he, gets a, <laughs> he gets a Tetris. Oh my god. What a victory lap this is. He's, He's going for another. He's literally he going this? for another. There's no way. No way. No way. No. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Impressive. Super there, impressive. Moya. There, there is, there is a tiny chance that Moya could, in fact, still be human. <laughs> tiny. I think. It's tiny. It's a very, very tiny chance. Uh. But it's been, it's, it's been insane. It's, it's, it's been quite. I, I, I thought I reported. Why isn't the bracket updating? Technology just hates you too. <laughs> Clearly it does. Um, uh, why I went offline? No, 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 no. You can't go offline. Yeah, oh, the wait, winner's we, team. We, we, well, it's, it's fine. We can just look at his controller. Congratulations to the NES controller who has won the Challenger circuit. Um, <laughs> my god. Hey everybody, this is your old pal Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.